me show you how to make some really good homemade spicy mayo. <laughs> why am I, why am I awkward right now? Okay, welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to make this video and I thought it was a good idea just to put it into my refocus your life series because it just it just makes sense so i want to talk to you about how i grocery shop and really like how i eat and so i figured it was a good time because it's new year's people are wanting to get their health together they're wanting to eat better have those sort of health goals so i wanted to talk a little bit about that um i have been trying to clean up my diet and what i mean is just i just try my best <laughs> to stay away from like processed foods um and throughout the week focus on eating whole foods like it's really that simple i am however like very lenient when it comes to the weekends and i think those days are kind of necessary if i was too strict with myself i'd probably go crazy but throughout the week i try to be good at eating just three meals a day. I don't really snack, or at least I try not to, unless I really need to. Um, and if I do want dessert, I eat it with a meal. I keep it simple. I haven't gotten into meal planning until recently. I don't think I really had any kind of structure before when it came to like planning meals and cooking. And um, I tried meal prepping for a while especially when I was working just because it'd be easy like if I know I'm, I'm working three days a week meal prep one giant meal that I can eat during those three work days it just makes sense but I don't like meal prepping because I just get tired of eating the same foods like I don't know I just get bored and I know I'm not supposed to use food to entertain myself but like I don't know like if, if I have the time and the resources to make fresh meals throughout the week then I prefer to do it that way and I will meal prep as needed, but it's not ideal. Anyways, so I actually got this idea originally from Milena Ciciotti, and she was talking about in one of her videos how she really just grocery shops for the week and does her best to use all of her food and ingredients that week. <laughs> so nothing is just like sitting there, you know, you got, sometimes you buy like just a bunch of vegetables with no actual plan for to use them in certain meals and so they end up just sitting in your fridge and rotting and then you're wasting food and you're wasting money so i really like that idea i started doing with Devin is at the beginning of the week typically monday today's monday um we'll grocery shop and plan our meals for the week we don't usually cook like five meals ten meals you know monday through friday honestly we do about two to three meals so we're buying for two to three meals it kind of just depends on the week because we tend to have stuff like i have a lot of church activities in the evening i have class in the evening um devon will you know have work and so we're not always together but we typically can plan to be together and cook a meal together so today like i said today's monday so Later tonight when we go to the gym, we usually do our grocery shopping after. So we'll gym around, the range is like four to six, sometimes seven, when we head to the gym. And then straight from there, we'll go to the grocery store. And then we come back home and cook dinner. So that's usually what we do, but I wanted to record this segment of the video before the sun goes down at like five. Okay. Let me tell you about what I do. So, I actually have a note in my phone. It's literally titled groceries. And I keep track of things I need. Let's say I ran out of milk. Well, once I run out of milk, I don't want to forget about it. So I will immediately go into my notes and add that to the list. So I don't forget about it. And when I do finally go grocery shopping, I just pull up my list and I know exactly what I need. So using my notes and my phone, I find it very, very handy. And it's where I make my grocery list. So, oh, before, oh, before I even get to building the grocery list, let me tell you something else um, that I have started implementing a few months ago. I don't know how much you know about it. I'm 
a newbie when it comes to it, but I started implementing cycle syncing. And basically what cycle syncing is, it is incorporating a specific lifestyle for the specific phase of the cycle you are in. So just a brief overview, not gonna get too into detail, women have a 28 day cycle first starts with the menstruation phase no explanation needed then we have the follicular phase the ovulation phase and the luteal phase and there's different things happening in the body in each of these phases hormones are at different levels and basically there are certain nutrients that you can eat that'll help you specifically for that phase of the cycle and I actually learned a lot from Berry and Berry. That's her Instagram handle, Berry and Berry. Um, yeah, she's the expert. I love her. I love her content. Um, she has so many good resources. You should just go check her out. She puts out like a like a list of recommended foods for each cycle, and so that's what I base my grocery shopping on. I have enjoyed <laughs> implementing cycle syncing in my life because I found it so frustrating when I would be in my luteal phase, but I want to go to the gym and lift heavy, but then I couldn't because I was so fatigued. And I had to understand like, there's so much happening in my body that yeah, I'm fatigued and I can accept that without beating myself up about it. Actually, instead of working against my body, let me work with my body and I can still do a workout, but let me do a workout that works better for the cycle that I'm in. You know, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm enjoying this journey of learning how to cycle sync. So if you're interested, I think a good place to start is check out Berry and Berry. I will link her instagram in the description so okay now you have that context let's form our grocery list so i kind of already talked to Devin about this we brainstormed usually we're just we sit together honestly like on the way to the grocery store we're just brainstorming what we want to eat um it doesn't take that long but we can be indecisive so we already talked and we know that we want to have fish because that's what i need right now um, but we want to make a poke bowl. So I'm going to put the poke. We actually, so we shop at Sprouts and we love Sprouts. Big fan, big fan of Sprouts because they do have the butcher, but they also have pre-made meals, pre-made food. Um, that's just, it's very easy to piece together if we need something on the go. Um, let's say like, I just need shredded chicken then I can buy cooked shredded chicken and just use that throughout the week. So anyways, they have pre-made poke, or at least just, you know, the chopped up fish. And so we'll buy some of that. Um, we need to buy some rice. We should buy more salad, huh? What else do you want in the poke bowl? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Pickled onions. We have some of that. Um, what do we usually do? We usually just... I know we do cucumbers. Edamame. We do edamame. I don't know if I want edamame. But I don't know what else to do. Yeah, seaweed. seaweed. Okay. Seaweed. Yeah. Let's Furikake. do seaweed. Okay, and we have furikake. So that's one meal that we're going to make tonight. For the other meal, I'm thinking chicken. Okay. So we'll do chicken. They have marinated meats and pretty solid like we they haven't done us wrong yet <laughs> so we'll do chicken and then i was thinking squash like squash zucchini side okay situation you want to do rice or salad with that with what sorry with the chicken chicken and squash rice okay so i just went ahead and wrote down all of the ingredients that we'll need for our meals. And then I'm going to jot down some other foods that I want to eat in this specific phase of my cycle. I'm in my luteal phase, by the way, um, and other groceries that I need for home. So I know I need hummus. I want raspberries. What else? I think that's it. I didn't have anything written in here. I might want some shredded chicken, actually, for my lunches that's a solid list for now 
will update as needed um i think that's all i wanted to share with you um yeah so we're gonna go to the gym in a couple hours and then we're gonna go to sprouts so see you in a bit we're going to the gym we're going to the gym baby i'm like i i i said i didn't snack but Ooh. I just had a crispy, cr rice that? crispy treat. Mine. Well, I needed a pre-workout <laughs> snack. No, no, I was a little And, you know, it's fast sugar, so I get it. Yeah, and it's, it's a smaller rice crispy, so it's not the normal size. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Just finished working out. Now we're going to sprouts. Going to sprouts, going, going to sprouts. Indeed. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna say. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. Rice Krispies help? Probably. Probably. I yeah, a little boost of sugar, you know, to and you get to burn it right away. That makes I'm like not looking at where I'm holding it and I'm like over here. <laughs> but it, it makes it like a guilty free snack when you know like I'm gonna burn these calories. Like, right away. Right away. We made it to Sprouts. I don't know why I'm so singy right now. Um, Devin's gotta do a couple work things. And then it's go time. I don't think I have my wallet. Babe. <laughs> wow, how convenient. Apple Pay. There she blows. It's probably really loud. Thinking about carts, it can't like make noise or fear by itself. <laughs> the worker was coming, but then he saw we were like blocking the aisle and like vlogging, and it was awkward. I don't like walking in public. <laughs> Usually for salmon, we get the Atlantic Fresh Farmed. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can get it, you can ask them for a certain amount of weight and then have them cut it here too, in case you want to do like different fillets. So you can be like, I want two pounds, but then cut it to six pieces. That's what we like to do because it's less prep for us. Thank you so much. We're back shopping. Grocery shopping was a success. Um, the other benefit about making a list is that you go in with, you go into the grocery store with strategy. For me, like it's very easy to just stick to the list. Like this is all I'm getting. I think I only got one extra thing that wasn't on my list. Um, but otherwise we're pretty good at sticking to the list. Rice is cooking um today's an easy meal because <laughs> this is already done which is nice and then we'll just like build our bowl when the rice is done i wanted to show off Devin's um cooking skills <laughs> he makes the best salmon i've ever had ever oh, really? yes thanks yeah i also don't order salmon when i go out ever but still, like, I think it's saying something. He's a really good cook. I'm really blessed. Okay, let me show you how to make some really good homemade spicy mayo. Forgot what it was called for a second. <laughs> Literally, just mayo, sriracha for spice, sesame oil, black pepper. Hold on. 
Arturia. I literally don't measure anything, but it's mostly mayo. And then sriracha. <laughs> um, just depends how spicy you want. This is good. Should I make more? Double it. Oh, I spilled. <laughs> Keep that in. It's good. Yeah. Time to build our bowls. Ew, what's this? A little wilted piece. So let's do this. Situation. I feel the need to like do a decent display since I'm on camera. Oh yeah. Wow, this looks good. Seaweed's all sticking up. Okay. That should definitely be good. That might be more than enough. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to put this on my rice. Okay, you can just put it on top. I'll put it on the <coughs> cucumber. Oh, yeah. Put on this seat. Oh! Yikes. Oh, wait. I want some of these. Homemade pickle onions. Lost a guy. Do a little garnish, you know? Top it off with the spicy mayo drizzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. Comment down below if you know that reference. <laughs> wow. That looks good. This looks so good. I'm gonna close out this vlog because we're gonna eat. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, the, uh, nope, that's all I got. Nope, all right. I'm gonna... <laughs> Try that again. You're gonna have a hard time cutting that up. Okay. Alright, this looks so good, and I'm gonna close up this vlog because I'm ready to eat. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.